hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks i really appreciate and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started now go to your file select new and i'm going to use a5 paper size then here is a5 paper size then I will change it to inches, leave the resolution at 300. Then if it is for print, change it to CMYK. If it is for social media, use ROGB. Then I click grades. Here is our working background. So now I'm going to my resource file, which I'm going to import this image here. Then you drag it into your Photoshop then reduce the size i'll bring it back this way all right then apply your layer mask then select your brush and i'm going to clean off this area something like this is okay all right so after this one now the next thing I'm going to bring now, I'm going to my resource file again and I'm going to import this image over here. Then before this one, I think the first one I'm going to import this one. Then you drag it down. Scale it out a little. Then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then make use of 12.5 then you click ok apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and i'm going to blend over here all right so then the second one i'm going to import then is this one then drag it over here okay then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and now we blend over here and the top here then you drag it then go to your filter select blur then Gaussian blur and I will blur this one at the rate of 4.4 ratio okay then leave it this way then go back to your background resource file I mean then and I'm going to import this image over here then you reduce the size then you position it over here drag it up something like this okay and the next thing i'm going to do on this one i'm going to reduce the opacity to 70 and change the blending mode to overlay like this then apply your layer mask on it select your gradient tool and now we blend the top here and the over here all right so i've been done this one so the next thing then i'm going to import another image which is this one then drag this one up scale it out something like this okay then i'm going to change the blending mode to pin light pin light here yeah. then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend over here yeah. something like this is okay all right increase the size then go back to this one image 
and increase the size okay as you can see then I'm going to increase the size of this one a little more something this way then this one I will increase the size also this one I will increase the size then this image here I will also increase the size to balance it well all right so as we have it this way now so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to draw a rent angle Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this color code here, Ctrl plus C to copy. And I will paste it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay, then this rent angle, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. So then you can see the outcome of it here. Reduce the opacity to 45, something like this. As you can see all right so the next one i'm going to do now then i'm going to import this background image then drag it up over here i'll position it over there then change the light i mean the blending mode to linear to linear lights all right as you can see then apply your layer mask select your brush then while you brush over here here something like this okay so the last things i'm going to do now having done this one then and i'm going to reduce the opacity to 59 59 okay then you leave it there the last one now is to select your cycle your ellipse to hold your shift key while you draw a perfect cycle or you can leave it without holding your shift key then now i'm going to bring it down like this while holding my shift key then i'll position it around here something like this then duplicate it ctrl plus j or you drag it over here then something like this so then i'm going to leave it this way then the next thing i'm doing i'm going to select the two of it then right click and merge the shape together all right then click on it and i'm going to change the color to this yellow color here or orange color and i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then drag this one down this way and i'm going to change the color of this one to white all right then you can now increase it the way you want you can increase it then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this color i mean the test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool. Before then, I'm going to bring this icon. Reduce the size. Position it over here. Okay, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Position it over here. Reduce the font size. So having applied this white color now, 
So the next thing is to apply a drop shadow. Then I will change the distance to 4, then the spread to 5 and the size to 13. So you can see how the test pop out now. You can also reduce this one to any of your choice that is the size. Then, but I'm going to make use of 13 here. Then click OK. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Select your test tool. Go back to your test document. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font. Then I'm going to make use of this font here. Hostelling. Then increase the size. I will position it over here for now then go back to your test and now we copy this one select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then go to your fonts and i'm going to change the font to this font here So come over here, then you can see it is minus 80. Then increase the size this way. Then come over to your test. Now we copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the size, then position it around here. Then come over to this one and I'm going to my blending option. Then select bevel and emboss and I'm going to use inner bevel, chisel add. Then make use of this setting here. Then the depth is 178. Then and the size here is 4. Then go to this contour. Then and I'm going to make use of this contour here. The next one is the gradient overlay then make use of this gradient overlay here so the color code of this gradient overlay is here so you can make use of it and the drop shadow normal the opacity is 100 percent then the distance here is going to be six then the spread of this one then i'll leave it at five and the size i'm going to leave it at this 13 okay then and i will click okay so you can see then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then drag it up over here then bring it down select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight and I'm going to copy this one now, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So this is what we have here now. All right. Then the team, I'm going to bring it down. I'll position it around here using my arrow key. Then something like this, it's okay. So having done this one now, then the next thing I'm going to draw a rent angle then from this position to this position. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl plus C to copy. 
then select your text tool ctrl plus v to paste and go to your fonts and i'm going to change the font to this font here reduce the font size then change the font color to black then come over here then to remove the character spacing to 0% now then you can reduce the rent angle while holding your shift key the rent angle and this letter then apply your horizontal and vertical alignment so if you want to increase the size then you can increase the size it's okay like this i'm going to leave it this way then why i will also group this one together then i'm going to reduce the size of this thing here Then something like this okay so having done this one then i'm going to draw another cycle hold your shift key then while you draw a cycle then i'll position it around here ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i'll position this one around here so what i will do now i'm going to bring this one down then change the color to red like this then i'm going to select this upper one then hold your control key while you click it over here then you can see something around it now go to your selects on the menu go to modify select expand and i will expand it by 10 so you can see now so what i will do now i'm going to select my eraser tool then click over this one so this is the red one then i'm going to click ok then why i will clean over here then ctrl plus d to deselect then go to your test tool and i'm going to copy my test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool Change the font, Ctrl plus V to paste, then reduce the font size, then change the font color to black, then take it up, then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J, bring it down, select your test tool, highlight it, then you copy ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then highlight this one come over here then apply superscript now i'm going to increase the size then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it up here then I'll, we copy this one then bring it down select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste the last thing i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate select your test tool then I'm going to type this word manually. Now increase the size and position it around here. So what I'll do now, I'm going to select it all and increase the size. So something like this. So having done this one, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then bring it over here, select your test tool, 
then I will change the color to white then enter your letter and I will increase the size then come over here to copy your text Ctrl plus C to copy then select your text tool Ctrl plus V to paste and I will reduce the font size okay so we are done with that one so the last thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to copy the location here Ctrl plus C to copy then come over here to import your location icon then reduce the size then select your test tool and here I'm going to change the font color to black then Ctrl plus V to paste then and I'm going to reduce the character spacing then reduce the font size so that is it we have come to an end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming video and another thing again i would like to share with you is if you are interested in any of my graphic design please kindly make your order and if you want to optimize your video on youtube or any other social media then there is a link of what i use to optimize my youtube channel videos that is too booty the link is in the description so if you want to create accounts of any of these two either fiverr or to body then the link is in the description then you can create your own account thank you so much for watching